course, another huge thing that happened under your watch was going to bed at night knowing that one of your correspondents was moldering in an Iranian jail. Jason Rezaian was finally released in 2016 after a year and a half in prison, thanks in part to some of the intense lobbying work actually that Fred Ryan did. Um, what was it like to live through that and to know that Jason was in prison? And do you have any advice for the journal's leadership in how to get back uh, 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 their missing reporter? Uh, I have talked to them actually. So uh, they did call around and talk to people who were, have experience with this. Uh, look, I was, it was preposterous that Jason uh, and Yagani, his wife, were picked up. Uh, um, and I mean, he was accused of espionage, of course. And given the system in Iran, um, I was very worried that he could be in prison forever or actually be executed. Uh, and I was, it was just unimaginable for that to happen uh, for someone who, you know, was doing, you know, you know, just journalism in, in Iran. And, um, and so, you know, that was my biggest fear is that that would happen. As far as um, Evan at the Wall Street Journal, uh, it's a similar, similar situation. And what I told them is that they should just be prepared for the long haul. Um, they need to keep the pressure on. They need to keep uh, pushing as much as they can. Uh, I think they're doing that. They're doing really well with that. Um, they're doing the right thing. Um, but um, this notion that these things are going to resolve themselves in a short period of time, I think, is, uh, is fantasy. Uh, they won't. And, and that's what I told them is just keep at it and don't get discouraged. Uh, but you can anticipate that it's probably going to take a long time. Mm.